All right, so I just got done eating with some really good friends, some lunch, and I think because I'm in the area, I'm gonna go to my favorite cafe and get some coffee for my wife and I. I think that'd be a really great surprise. So that means we have some more time to talk. So, hey, what's up? My name's Izzy and welcome to my channel. I like talking about stuff that interests me. So today, finally, we're gonna talk a little bit more about my car again, because people seem to like hearing stories about it. So today we're gonna talk about uh, how much it costs to buy and maintain a BMW M3. Again, this is a, ooh, is this car gonna come? Yeah, you stay there. This is a 2022 BMW M3, and I got it back in April. And, yo, I'm gonna crash into this car. You gotta go. So I got this car back in April. It is now September, and I've had it for about May, June, July, August, September, five months. Yeah. And I've driven about, you can't even see, but I'm gonna guess about 6,000, 7,000 miles on it already. Cool. So this car out the door price, I don't have the numbers in front of me, so I'm just going to go off the top of my head. It's about $81,000 out the door. So that includes the vehicle, it includes handling fees, it includes taxes and whatever other fees that they try to put on top of the car. That's the first thing. That's how much the car costs. This car is the base model. It's not the competition. And the competition, I think, runs like $2,000 or $4,000 more. And I did not buy any additional packages like the wheel and tire package and other extended warranties. And they made me feel really bad about that. But I'm, I'm okay with it so far. I knew that I wanted to put about 20% down for this car. So... I think 20% of 81 brought, brought me somewhere to like 16 grand. But in my head, the number that I really wanted to put down was like 20 grand. That's how much I, I wanted to put down to make it feel like I deserved the car. The monthly payment comes out to about $1,000 a month, which is ridiculously, ridiculously expensive. And something that I would never have ever thought I would do or been okay with. Still kind of shocked about it and I try to ignore the fact that it's so expensive. What else, what are the other costs? So these are now the costs that I didn't expect to pay and so surprised me. So I knew that the insurance would be expensive, more expensive than my other car, Honda Civic. My Honda Civic I paid about $50 per month. I think here I'm paying about $150 a month. I'm with State Farm, so that's expensive. Another thing about this car is that I paid like to put PPF on, on the on the car and get like a coat. I, f I forget what it's called now, but everyone does it, or everyone seemed to do it. That itself costs about $4,000. Um, but pretty much it's like, first they put on paint protection film, just on the front to protect against rocks. And then they put this like clear coat on top of that. The last official culprit is gas gas is really expensive and it was expen like during during the summer of, of 2022 this year like gas prices rocketed up for premium to go to like five dollars or something or four dollars it's now like finally just under four dollars where i'm going but i'd pay like for a full tank like 75 dollars maybe maybe 80 dollars something like that something something large and this car also is 22 miles per gallon so I actually drive pretty far uh, to go see my friends and family and like in a week I might fill up twice so I'm already at $150 a week sometimes to operate the car so that's like 150 times 4 what is that like 60 $600 a month for gas the way I drive it so I've really like decrease the amount of times I drive. I think because I bought the car new, I'm not dealing with any of the like issues of the car, like mechanical issues. But I'll tell you one thing, like if you, if you like bend the wheel, like the metal wheel, um, 
it's like one or two thousand dollars to replace just the wheel and because the tire itself the rubber part is like a specific type of tire and it's a larger like wheel larger diameter instead of paying like 150 or 200 dollars a tire if you like got a flat or something you pay like 400 450 so the reason why i'm bringing that up is because within the first week of um within the first week of buying the car i already got a nail in my um in my tire and i thought i was gonna have to replace like a tire so like 450 bucks and luckily i i just patched it so yeah in total i'd say let's do some math so we got a thousand we'll say we drive about three hundred dollars worth of gas so a thousand three hundred 150 dollars a month for the insurance 150 so we're at 1450 down payment I put down was about 20 grand which is not how much I think other people put down I think pe most people actually put down less so that $1,000 payment might actually be more um, overall I'm just gonna put a baseline of saying over over time I'll probably end up spending about $1,500 a month to buy this car to, to, to buy to operate to maintain this car and that's not too far off for how much I spend on my mortgage I think like to anyone that watches this car to try to gauge like how much it is to own I think you have to ask yourself would you be comfortable like owning a house I remember when I was younger like in high school maybe like 14 to 18 maybe even like when I was in college and I, I didn't have any money like I would look up these type of videos to, to to wonder like how much it would take to actually like like purchase and maintain a car like this and this video is really for for those for those um, dreamers, kids, adults, people that just want the car. Um, I hope this helps you make your decision on whether like you think a car like this is worth it for you. All right, I think I've said everything I wanted to say. I'm almost at the coffee shop. Uh, I really want to thank everyone that watches my videos and leaves comments or messages me on Instagram. Uh, they really they really help me to just get inspired to make more and. Just, just talk to the community. Yeah, that's, that's what I like. I like talking to the uh, community of people. All right, enough talk. Thanks so much for checking out my video. I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.